Captain Morgan spiced rum uh, possibly or is the biggest selling spiced rum the world over. Uh, probably you're going to enjoy it with Coke. In this video I've got five very different serves for you. Simple serves, a couple of cocktails, how to enjoy that even more. Hey drinks fans, my name is Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos help you drink, serve and enjoy your favourite drinks even more. Right, this video, uh, Captain Morgan Spiced Gold, uh, Spiced Rum, the biggest selling spiced rum uh, the world over and it was some, some phenomenal uh, spiced rums on the market and I do review spiced rums every Sunday on my YouTube channel. Um, but this one, you know, it's the big seller, it's the crowd pleaser. So I'm gonna give you five uh, different flips. The obvious one would be Captain Coke. That's the big, big seller by this by a long way. So I'm gonna give you five alternative serves. Um, and I know these will go down a treat. So the first one I'm gonna do for you is Captain and Ginger. Now Captain, um, Captain Spiced, they all, uh, they recommend sort of ginger ale. That's their go-to for their second serve. And on the back, it does say Captain Cola. So we know that's their first serve. Captain Ginger is their second serve, but it's ginger ale. I'm gonna do something a little bit different for you. So straight in the glass, easy to do, 50 ml of Captain Morgan Spiced in there. It's kind of, uh, well it is, it, it's sort of spiced and stormy if you like. Uh, I'm going three lime wedges, you could do two if you really wanted to, not a problem. Squeeze it in, three lime wedges. I'm going to get my Angostura bitters out every supermarket will have these. 10, 12 pounds maybe to you guys. And uh, you just want, uh, I just go one dash, that's all I want in this, one dash. Here we go. And then I'm going to go ginger beer. Um, ginger ale, as I said, is what they would class as their Captain Cola. I'm just going ginger beer. And for this, I'm going about 125 mil. Okay, 50, 100, 125, there we go, perfect. And if it, if it was um, a more potent spiced rum, I would probably go 150 mil, but as it's um, 35%, only, very delicate um, spiced rum as well. I just want just about 125, perfect. Uh, just a couple of cubes of ice, just to start off with. Uh, I'm just going to give that a quick stir, bring the bitters through and the limes. Very quick stir. Mm. Oh, that is very good. And then just top it up with a bit more ice. Garnish wise, up to you. Let's go sprig a mint as I've got one. A bit of lime wedge, whatever you want. And that is your drink number one. It's kind of a spiced, Captain Spiced and Stormy, if you like. Very, very easy. Right, the second cocktail for you is, um, well, I'm gonna shake it, we're gonna serve it up in a highball, but this is a sticky toffee highball. Absolutely love this one, fun, innocent. 50 ml, start off with 50 ml of Captain Spiced. Captain Morgan Spiced. I always call it Cap Morgan Spiced, that's how I always knew this. Uh, but they changed it, I don't know, 10 years ago, mate, I've lost track, but I always call it Morgan Spiced, but Captain Morgan Spiced Gold is what it's now called. So 50 ml in there. Uh, I'm going, this is my salted toffee liqueur. Absolutely love that. And I'm just going with 15 ml. Go. Again, links in the show notes. Oh, so good, so, so good. Absolutely amazing that is. Um, links to the show notes where you can get that from. I do want a bit of lime juice. I've got some fresh lime juice here, freshly squeezed. I'm just going 15 mil in there. Then I just want some uh, pressed apple juice. Again, supermarket owned brand is perfect, but make sure it's pressed. I really don't like, I've got a thing against um, that sort of clear stuff as well, the sort of sugar from concentrate. Pressed, make sure it's 100% pressed apple juice. It tastes better. 50 mil. There, boom, job done. Right, now we are just gonna shake this up. So fill it, fill your cocktail shaker up with ice. And actually, while I'm here, I'm just gonna ice up this glass. There we go. Put more ice in there. Right, give it a good, hard shake. And about 12 seconds. Right, when you're happy, that's nice and chilled down. And now we're just gonna, single strain this 
into, actually, before we do that, final ingredient, let's go this way around, uh, it's lemonade, okay? And, and I normally you could kind of just top up in there. However, what I like to do with my fizzy stuff, sparkling water, whatever you're doing, I just like to add it to the shaker to save that extra step of stirring it. So I'm just going 50 ml of just a normal lemonade. There we go. Pop that in there. Now we single strain. That lemonade's already nicely mixed up with that. Perfect, lovely jubbly. Garnish wise, I have actually got one here, I've started. Garnish wise, you could do a nice slice of apple in there as well. There we go, and then just serve over the straw. That is my sticky toffee highball. Right, cocktail number three for you. He's kind of a fun, um, served up over ice, strawberry kind of daiquiri with that, it just works so easily we're just going to make it in our shaker again 50 ml of um morgan spiced let's just call it morgan spiced sod it there we go 50 ml of morgan spiced uh, and then i want my lime juice i want 25 ml of lime juice freshly squeezed lime juice just a touch of sugar um i'm going 10 ml because the strawberry i'm going to use is a little bit sweet so 10 ml of sugar syrup in there now you can see it over that shoulder strawberry puree my favorite strawberry puree to use um, is shelf stable as well so once opened you can keep it on the shelf uh, whereas the funkin stuff you have to keep it use it within a few days and keep it in the fridge um, this is shelf lock stable and keep for a few months once opened it's not a problem 25 mil okay and it does taste even though it's got the sugar in there it does taste of proper proper strawberry absolutely love it perfect quite cheap as well it's that less than a tenner for that um so there we go right just gonna ice this down and then we're gonna give it a good old shake and i'm just gonna ice ice down my glass as well so easy so easy to make this at home so easy pubs bars so easy charge a couple of quick don't tell, don't tell the people at home, but if you're in a pub or bar, you could easily whack this on a little menu and charge a couple of quid extra, even though it's as cheap as doing Captain and Coke to make. It's, it's so easy. GP friendly, that's what we like to call it. Right, hard fast check. Right, when you're happy, that's nice and chilled down. Pop that to one side. Oh, strawberry puree in there, lovely jubbly. Um, now, just gonna single, single strain that into our rocks glass perfect there we go now garnish wise i'm filming this during during lockdown I haven't got any strawberries and uh, the coronavirus lockdown so if you're watching this in a couple of years time and thinking what's he talking about coronavirus 2020 Woo, that was fun um so i'm just going to go lime with that sip straw easy fun Fun, quick and easy strawberry dack. Pubs, bars, stick that on your menu. You'd sell about 50 of those a night, easy. Right then, so good. Two more cocktails to go. And I'm gonna go back to a simple serve now for this one. Simple serve, but in a fun glass. Kind of my little tea glass going on, right. Simple serve, two ingredients, three, three ingredients, this one, two sort of there. Uh, double bubble of your Morgan Spiced campaign. Let's start up the campaign to recall it, Morgan Spiced. There we go, if you're with me, give me a like below. Uh, so 50 ml of this, <laughs> one of my fun, fun go-tos, Rubicon, I love them. You can probably see the passion fruit up there as well. Sparkling uh, mango in this one. Um, Cash and carries, especially in the UK, Booker Wholesale will sell these. Macro, what's the other one? Costco as well. They all sell them. You can get them quite easily. Supermarkets sell these as well. Tesco's do, Sainsbury's do. Uh, easy to get hold of. Innocent, fun drinks. It's like a cocktail. Super easy cocktail straight away. Um, if you get a free pour, you're gonna free pour. I'm just going uh, about 150 mil, okay? 150 mil. 
Now I said three ingredients because what I'm gonna add now is just kind of a wedge of lime, just to kind of add a little bit of a citrusy kick to it. That is it, that is essentially it. We could, we could get a bit more technical, we could add some bitters if you want. What bitters have we got up there? Rhubarb, cherry, cherry bitters maybe? Lemon bitters, chocolate bitters, chocolate, mango, nah. You know, you can add lots of things, tiki bitter, actually, because I'm gonna drink this, and I'm gonna add a little bit of tiki bitters. Now, just a little bit of a pipette. There we go, tiki bitters, one, two, three, perfect. It's just for me, because I'm gonna drink this. Uh, take your long bar spoon, give it a good stir, I love Rubicon drinks, I love them. Top out with a bit more ice. And garnish wise, I've got a little bit, even though you could go mango. Actually, saving that for the last cocktail. Poor clues there, pineapple. And um, let's go, let's just chop this down. There we go, and then serve, straw. There you go, pineapple, uh, sorry, mango, mango spiced. What do you want to call it? It's up to you, but just, fun it's just fun in a glass it really is fun in a glass uh, so that's your fourth one right the fifth one the final one coming up pineapple mojito that is what we're going for in this one so very very quick and easy mojitos i'm going to bang this out in record time for you uh, take your lime and uh, make sure it's all room temperature give it a roll get the juice out wedge it up six wedges and then you're just going to squeeze all six of these wedges in your glass nice and zesty nice and citrusy amazing in there now the chances are people all drinking captain morgan have got a sweeter tooth anyway um, so this would work quite well for them so i've got my limes in there uh, just a bit of sugar syrup 10 ml of sugar syrup because there's a little bit more sugar coming in a second 10 ml of plain sugar syrup. Uh, now, um, you don't have to, I, I like to get the zest out of my limes, you don't have to, but get your, get your muddler and just press down and twist. Get all that juice and the zest out of the limes. Don't do that, because you'll see it, you'll get lime juice in your eye and it freaking hurts, I promise you. Press down and twist. There we go, get all that nice juice out of there. Right. Limes, sugar, that's all that is. 50 ml, double bubble of your Morgan Spiced. The campaign to cook, recall it, Morgan Spiced is real, kids. Captain Morgan Spiced Gold. What sort of stupid name is that? Morgan Spiced. There we go. Right, 50 ml of that, pineapple. Now you could go pineapple juice. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. About 50 ml of pineapple juice would work a treat in there. I've got access to purees. Again, I'll drop links. You can get these at home, easy. I wish Real did uh, one of those as well, squeezy bottles. Um, but this is pineapple puree, ODK, 25 mil. Amazing, amazing, 25 mil. So it's a mixture of pineapple and sugar, this puree. Shelf stable, once opened, amazing. There we go. So pineapple puree in there. Uh, about 10 to 12 spri um, sprigs, 10 to 12 sprigs, no, that's way too many. 10 to 12 mint leaves. There we go, oh, perfect, now we can do the garnish. 10 to 12 mint leaves, palm your hand, give me a spank. There we go, we don't put our mint in with the limes and muddle, because all that's doing is getting the bitterness out of the stalk, so you don't want that. And just want a nice, delicate, fresh aromas. Final ingredient, soda water, pubs and bars, you'll have this on the gun. You could if you want to go crazy, you see that? Sister's soda, uh, pineapple and cardamom soda water. Amazing, you've got tropical soda up there as well. Amazing, plain soda water, just for ease though. 50 ml, I'm just gonna go a little in just to wash out the pineapple puree. 25, 25, there we go, perfect. A little bit for luck, amazing. Right, now you just want a couple of cubes of ice just to start off with, four cubes. Take your long bar spoon and we're just gonna give it a churn, bring the limes and them into the top. Get that pineapple stirred in as well. 
and that works as a non-alcoholic one as well. But you're watching this because you want Captain Morgan's. There we go. <laughs> so good. Crushed ice to top up. Don't have to, you go cubed if you really want to. Crushed ice to top up. Perfect. Final touches, sprig of mint. Just to wait the aromas. And then straw, bartender trick. Always goes right beside the mint leaf. So when you do have a little sip, the mint is going straight up your nostrils. And that is my Morgan Spiced Pineapple Mojito. Mm. So fun. Which one's your favourite? Which one is your favourite? Like this video. Let me know if you want to call it Morgan Spice and I'll see you in the next one.